Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com, Sony A6000. I'm chuckling to myself because I was making faces for thumbnails for the video. We'll see which one I use. Anyways, the uh, A6000 unboxing. I know this camera's been out for a while, and we're looking at getting a Mark II out soon, but I actually haven't had one in the shop, and I thought, hey, we should get this thing put through the paces because it's always been on paper, and when I've gone to the store and played with them, one of my favorite cameras. I just haven't done a full review on it. So I got the kit in uh, with the 55 to 210 because you can buy it as a kit. Uh, I'll put a link below. You can see you can get this kit, and it gives you a good deal getting the longer 55 to 210 the two lenses together because the, the, I got the kit with the camera uh, that's the 16 to 50 kit lens and then the the this is the two lens kit so the 55 to 210 that's an f4 uh, 45 to 63 OSS both image stabilized lenses and um, so we're gonna do the unboxing for you oh I let the cat out of the bag had to charge the battery so the camera's out but let's show you what's in the box actually haven't opened the long zoom lens there's the the charger cord again my only pet peeve with Sony cameras um, in general is I wish they'd send you a charger. Again, um, easily remedied by an aftermarket charger, which you should get anyways because you get a couple of batteries and a charger for 30 bucks or something, 40 bucks maybe. I'll uh, see if I can put a link below for you for that too. So what do you get in the box? You get um, warranty card. You get uh, lens accessories brochure. You get um, your manuals from Sony on the A6000. Uh, camera came in this nice little um, wrapper papper uh, let's see and what else do we have in here the cord um, is also your USB to HDMI so just so you know and then that USB goes into the wall plug so you only need one cord that's what you get with it um, there's your A6000 strap or a strap it doesn't say 6,000 on it and we got uh, something else in here what do we have in here oh yes you could have a, 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 an eyepiece if you want that uh, extends that or protector I don't know what they call that for the um, around the eyepiece on the 6,000 so let's just uh, stick this box and stuff to the side here we'll put that over here and um, so here's the camera we'll talk about that for a minute before we get into the lens so um, really nice build quality it was the first thing i noticed when i pulled out the a6000 um the as you as you'll know the screen flips up it rotates up uh, whoosh, i guess that's 90 degrees and then you can bring it back a bit if you're if you're bringing uh, if you want to look overhead um one of the advantages on the the 5100 which is it's newer but lower in the line little brother is that the screen uh flips all the way up so it's an advantage hopefully the a6000 mark ii might do that although maybe they'll feel they're cannibalizing the line the lens itself and i did charge a battery up here so we could turn it on for you the lens itself is a nice little lens that's it powered on and extended and to zoom there's a rocker slider here so you can go wide or or not um wider not wider telescopic and the beautiful thing is it doesn't really move that much as far as extending or out here's full wide okay that's w the full wide that's a 16 and here it is extending if you want to call it extending to it's almost like it's just rearranging itself because it really doesn't look that's that's at the full telephoto end and here is at the full yeah it's just kind of must be really rearranging the elements or something inside because it really doesn't look like it uh, it's doing anything that way um, focus acquisition seems really um, really fast on this I mean we're just down here in the studio we're fairly well lit but I mean focus 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 doesn't seem to matter what I am locking on this thing seems to have awesome fast focus um, and what we'll want to do with this is the focus tracking and see if we if our results match more with uh, Tony and Chelsea's where they didn't something coming towards wasn't tracking well uh, we'll see if that happens um, the screen nice and bright good the EVF on these is incredible very nice EVF I forget what the exact details on it is does my spec sheet tell me that right here uh, let's see we have a the spec sheet initially here doesn't tell me what my EVF is, but it is an OLED viewfinder, and it's a very nice viewfinder, very quick. Um, the dials on here are nice. We have your mode dial up up here with a little bit gnarl a gnarling, I guess you'd call it, on the dial, so you can switch from all your different, you know, manual shutter aperture priority, etc. But this dial uh, on the far right there that will work your. I don't know if you can see that there. That 
is what your aperture adjustment is. And then the other, um, you use the command dial down here as it swivels, and you'll see there's your shutter speed adjustment. So um, overall impressions of the build quality, it's very nice. We have uh, over here, we have a HDMI and a multi-port there. You got your hot shoe up there, which I, I'm, I believe, I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure this is not Sony proprietary. This is down to a standard hot shoe. Um, your battery is in there, as does your SD card go in there. It takes one SD, not no no pairs of SDs. You've got your, your standard button layout for Sony on the back here, your flash. You've got your um, menu, AEL is at the top, a couple of function buttons. There's another function button, our C1 button, custom one up there. Um, and then your rotary dial, which uh, if you push to the top, controls your display side controls your ISO options and so on so pretty straightforward layout and controls the Sony's I don't find are hard to figure out how to use menus and whatnot are a little different than say a Canon or a Nikon or a Panasonic but fairly intuitive in the sense that um, you know some people don't like a certain brand of menu and, other, and and they like another brand but they're pretty easy to jump right into and use I find with the Sony's I mean I hadn't been into a Sony a I think my last one was an A, uh, oh, what was that? It was a, um, before they before they were calling them the A series, it was a NEX 5N, I believe it was. Um, so I haven't used it in a while, but I jumped right back into the menus and no problem. Um, hot shoe mount, what else do we have to cover here? Um, that's pretty much get your lens release button. The um, the build quality on the um, on the 16 to 50 is nice. It's got you know it's it, it looks nicely made. It's it's good. It looks good quality. It's got the it's an OSS lens, um, and you know no complaints here on build quality. And it I've always liked this camera. And opening it and getting it out of the box doesn't. I'm not my mind. If anything, I like it. I like it even more. Um, and maybe when the A6000 Mark II comes out and these start you know, appearing on the market at a really good price used. I may pick one up then at that point for myself. Because these are a review model here. Let me just open up the um, the lens, the other lens here for you. This is the 55 to 210 that you can get in a kit. Um, so basically what do we have in here? There's the lens and basically just some paperwork. So manual, lens chart, warranty card. The only thing that I would ever use the manual for on a lens, really, is to check and see if it has a depth of field chart, which you can get online these days anyway, so it's not a big deal. There's the lens. There's the lens hood. We'll put this back in the box here. Put the box over here. So what do we got? Um, 55 to 210. Um, because these are uh, the E mount lenses, so they're not designed for full frame or the A mount. They're smaller, so that's a nice, nice small little 55 to 210. Very, um, very small and lightweight. So pair it will pair up nicely with the um, with the uh, 16 to 50. Let's throw it on there just to show you. We'll take the 16 to 50 off there, and we will put on the two 55 to 210. So there it is. As you can see, it extended on me. So this lens does extend. That's it at 210. And that's it at 55. Not a huge extension, but it does come out. Um, nice build quality on the lens. I'd say it's equivalent to um, to the build quality on, on the 16 to 55. So um, very nice in that, that sense. Um, yeah, uh, this is a f4.5 to 6.3. Um, so it's a slower lens variable aperture slower lens um, but it's supposed to be from what I've read pretty sharp so we'll be checking that out but the build quality looks nice um, there's the front another thing that's nice is again Sony gives us the um, the hood so let me stick that in there let's see what it looks like with the hood on there you go it's a little bit longer but always nice to have the hood I leave my hoods on almost all the time just because you don't need a lens filter on there. I don't use lens filters because why do I want to degrade the image quality anymore or cause flares or whatever. Um, but the, you leave the hood on, and unless you're being a total klutz, you pretty much protected your lens. Protects it from a drop, protects it from accidental finger marks, protects it from scratches, whatever. Anyways, that is the 55-210. to 210. And that actually, that shows you how easy they go on and off there. Um, we'll put, uh, what was it? This one was on the, there we go. 
put the uh, lens cap back on here and just pop the um, 16 to 50 back on. A bit smaller with that on. So anyways, um, for those of you that don't remember the highlights of the A6000, we'll give you a quick rundown here of the A6000 specs. Um, 179 AF uh, 179 AF points, sorry, uh, 11 frames per second. So they're claiming world's fastest autofocus system, 11 frames per second. High resolution, 24 megapixel APS-C sensor. So this is pretty much the same sensor you see in the um, D7000, 7100, or no, not 7000, sorry, 7100 and uh, 7200, the 5500. Um, very similar sensor, if not you know, exactly the same. I mean, Nikon tweaks theirs. Uh, instant sharing via smartphone with Wi-Fi and NFC. ISO range of 100 to 25,600 for low light photos. And by all reports, it's supposed to be quite good in low light. Easy intuitive controls. Uh, records 1080 in 24 and 60p video. So that's really good. It doesn't do 4K. Hopefully we'll see that in a Mark II. OLED viewfinder, which did, does look really nice looking through it. I don't think we're going to have any problems with that. Convenient tilt LCD, pop-up flash and um, a standard hot shoe there so um, actually I didn't even see where is the pop-up flash oh there we go there's the pop-up flash for you guys for those that didn't realize and you can you could use this as a little bounce flash so they are kind of handy that way in a pinch um, what else do we have here uh, oh, and there's camera apps, lots of camera apps available. Uh, came with a rechargeable battery, that's the NPFW50, AC adapter, shoulder strap, body cap, eye cup piece, and the micro USB cable. So that's the A6000 in a nutshell, unboxed, initial impressions, really favorable, build quality looks great, um, and I really like the fit and feel of it in my hand and whatnot, and very much looking forward to playing with the a6000 and getting some uh, getting some reviews done showing you some image quality some video quality maybe we'll compare video quality against the um, FDR ax100 the the video camera we just uh, opened and unboxed thanks for tuning in folks stay tuned we'll be back with more on the a6000 we'll do some tests run it through its paces show you how that works and um, we also have some other lenses in from Sony which I'll show you in another video here for some unboxing of some additional lenses. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.